and I participated in SG Open Co-Space Rescue, First Steps United. My team code is SG5002. I'm part of the robotics club in my school, Raffles Institution, and I'll be taking part in SG Open individually. The task of Co-Space Rescue, First Steps United, is to collect objects and deposit them at the deposit zones. Along the way, it has to avoid walls and obstacles that are located around the map. It should also not fall into traps, as it might lose objects that it's carrying. First up, the basic movement. For the basic movement, I employed a technique called differential steering. So what is differential steering and how is it different from the wheel-left, wheel-right model? So unlike the wheel-left, wheel-right model, differential steering has two intuitive variables to it namely the speed variable and the steer variable. So the speed variable is quite simple. Setting the speed variable to 1 will cause the robot to move forward at a speed of 1 and setting it to negative 1 will allow the, ro the robot to move backward at full speed. The steer variable comes in by allowing the robot to rotate. It assigns a certain rotational rate on both wheels and depending on how what the value allocated to steer is, the movement of the board will change as well. For instance, if I set the speed variable to 1 and I set the steer variable, variable to 1, the robot will be able to turn on the spot at full speed. Setting the steer variable to 0.5 and keeping the speed at 1, however, will allow the robot to pivot on its right wheel while turning at full speed. A first, the, for the first strategy I employ will be probability maps. At the start of the round, the robot goes around the map and scans regions of high treasure, dens high treasure density. This will allow it to formulate an efficient path to travel around and collect sets of red, black, and cyan, depending on where clusters of each treasure are located. So for the run flow after the probability map, will be to find the best pathing to control, to collect, to control the robot and collect two red, two black, and two cyan before it proceeds to the deposit zone. After it finds this pathing, it utilizes it for 3 to 4 sets of 6 loaded objects. This will easily allow me to get to about 1.5k points. Once the spawns are depleted, which is after about the 1 minute mark, I, I have hard coded the robot to proceed to unexplored coordinates and pick up, regardless of the color. This way, you'll be able to get some quick points at the end. The final force deposit will be at the 20 second mark, so that if any so that any loaded objects that the robot is carrying will be deposited. For debugging, one issue I faced was the problem of the robot getting stuck between the trap and the wall. In the finals and the brilliant map, both traps are located next to walls. This will cause a bug in my code, as the robot is tasked to move to the right if the left sensor detects a trap, and move to the left if the right sensor detects a trap. Since the trap is right next to a wall, it will move to the right and detect the wall, and it will cause the robot to oscillate between the wall and the trap. This will waste a lot of time. In order to fix this issue, I first located the positions the robot might be facing, so that it will be able to identify the instance of when this is happening. This can be done through coordinates where the traps are located, along with a bunch of other conditions. When it happens, the robot is then coded to make a U-turn maneuver and manually avoid oscillating at the area. In conclusion, the robot was able to follow the 2 red, 2 black, 2 C run flow quite effectively. Since there were many objects lined up in the bonus zone, especially in the prelims and the finals map, along with its close proximity to the deposit zone, I was wondering if in the last minute it would be more efficient to collect them instead of going to unexplored coordinates. Then I realized that it may not be a good idea because the bonus zones will be rather depleted after the initial phase since a bulk of the red and cyan objects are collected from the bonus zone. As for my learning experience, 
I picked up additional C coding skills and learned interesting techniques such as probability maps and, into, and uh, incredible trap avoidance um, incredible trap avoidance skills yes to make my movement more efficient I also learned the importance of time management and communication skills through my journey thank you for listening Thank you.